So we'll uh, present to you quickly La Post Group, and then I will go to our use case. Um, so yeah, I, I'm dealing with the uh, platform, Epim platform, you know, for the BSCC. So BSCC is a branch of La Post, but La Post is, you know, is a big group uh, with uh, you know two uh, two hundred thousand people, and we we have you know a different mission. Uh, and uh, especially public uh, mission because uh, we are 100% um, uh, you know, public uh, capital uh, company. So uh, we we deal with you know, mainly you know exchange, so collect, uh, uh, delivery, and uh, we, we also have you know banking uh, uh, activity, consumers and digital. Uh, you know all the the, the post office we are de dealing with. Uh, you know this uh, this activity, and um, we also are you know uh, uh, developing uh, international you know uh, growth uh, for especially for parcel. Uh, some some key figures here. So uh, I was saying you know more than two thousand uh, uh, two hundred thousand sorry uh, people. You have to know that. Uh, uh, 10,000 of them are dealing with uh, IT in La Poste. So IT is a big you know, topic for us. Um, we, are, we have uh, 17 outlets. I mean, you know, it's um, post office or equivalent. So to, to cover all the territory, it's, uh, it's our mission uh, as well. So each year, we are delivering uh, 15 billion uh, objects, which is quite uh, Quite a lot, so so we have we have to you know to manage uh, that with uh, an information system which is uh, quite robust. So we are abroad, you know, in 63 countries, and uh, we are uh, quite a committed group. Uh, I will come back uh, on that because we try to um, to be associated to the different you know, transformation, societal transformation, and environmental transformation as well. So uh, I will go to uh, you know our, our use case because uh, we we want to we need to transform we we are facing you know a drop of the traditional mail so we have to think about new services and to do that uh, we have to uh, transform uh, the company and obviously the information system as well and uh, so how CTO has decided you know to uh, to give this uh, roadmap for, for the uh, for the information system, and uh, he, uh, we, we have some lines here, some guidelines. Uh, the first one is to be resilient uh, and to be agile. This is the main thing, you know, to, to transform so the information system. He, we need to have reliable you know, uh, services. We have to become an, uh, a data-driven uh, company. Uh, as well, we have to uh, to give new services for customers. Uh, we have to to have a process for su supply chain uh, as well, obviously to to offer these new services. And uh, all that must be simple for users and workers. We we want to to remove complexity we had before. So we have um, you know, started this, uh, this project uh, of uh, you know, uh, like API first architecture uh, to, uh, to really have you know, uh, a way of integrating new services quickly and faster. Um, so we, start, we, we, start, we have started this project six, six years uh, ago, and uh, the main, the main strategy was firstly to remove silos internally, to, to, to go quickly to new services, to, uh, to offer uh, you know, uh, new application to business uh, faster. And uh, the second strategy was to open the information system to offer new services to partners, so, so that LAPOS services could be embedded in uh, information system of, of partners. So we have set up a governance to do that. We, um, we have, uh, you know, uh, organized uh, our team 
so, so that uh, we have dedicated you know, a team for uh, building the uh, IPIM platform for, uh, and, uh, and a team, dedicated team also to uh, manage this, this platform. So that developers was free to develop the business services. And the API team are really decentralized because uh, they, you know, it's, it's quite a platformless approach we had uh, at the beginning. Um, we have uh, set up you know, four channels. It's, it's quite a, a domain-driven you know, architecture because we have created different cells, different channels uh, to address different uh, business uh, processes. One of the, of, of the reasons to do that also is to, uh, to uh, increase resilience because we didn't want that industrial you know, activity affect business activity. So we have separated the, the domain. Uh, we have created these four domains so that uh, they don't you know, uh, cross their, their problem, actually. So some, uh, some key KPI uh, here. So um, uh, we, we, we have developed a lot of new uh, services. It's, uh, you know, a, a microservice architecture. So developers have, have been, you know, working a lot and they have developed new services, uh, six, 600 uh, APIs, uh, many, many apl new applications. So to, to offer new services to, um, to customers. And uh, so this is quite a huge, you know, number uh, of APIs to manage. So uh, this is so probably uh, something we, we have to think about. Maybe uh, we uh, we need to f to create API where, where it is needed only, and not uh, you know systematically. But uh, the result is that we 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 can manage with Android of APIs with our platform because she is scalable. Okay, she is resilient and scalable, and. Uh, so we address a different usage. So from web app, you know, mobile device, server connection uh, patterns. For internal and external, you, you can see that you, we have mainly internal uh, API for the, the branch. We offer also API for the rest of the group of La Poste. And then we open some APIs for partners. But it is, it is you know, in development because uh, API are mostly for internal use at this, at this time. One thing is to address the security. So uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, we are connected with different IDPs uh, to, to make sure that uh, uh, the access to the information system is secure. And we have uh, set up two tenants to address our needs in, the, in our branch and the needs for uh, another uh, branch, which is a corporate wine, one, and it's mainly, you know, purchase and uh, human resource, you know, uh, needs. Uh, so that uh, this single infrastructure uh, offers two, uh, two talents. We reach uh, 40 million requests a day, uh, which, uh, which, uh, which is 1 billion requests a month. So it's quite, uh, quite a lot, and you can see in, in the screen that uh, we, each morning we, has, we have a peak because um, we have our postmen, they are you know, uh, more than uh, 60,000 uh, each morning, uh, delivery, mail and parcels. And uh, for the platform, it's quite a huge you know, uh, peak. Uh, it's each morning at around 9 o'clock because we have to prepare, we have to deliver. And uh, we reach, you know, uh, yeah, more than 100 TPS, 1,000 sorry TPS each uh, each morning on the on the platform. Uh, we have this uh, phenomenon as well uh, at the end of the year with the Christmas period, where where we have to to make sure the platform is can scale to address, you know, the, uh, the the peak of the the end of the year just before Christmas. So the quality of service for this platform is uh, is really modern, mandatory. You know, we cannot do less than uh, you know, I mean, 100 percent of uh, the availability uh, because it is a centralized platform. Uh, we, we we need it. You know, uh, 24 uh, hours a day. 
seven days a week. So uh, we, this pattern cannot stop. So, so this can be tricky because uh, we have, uh, like every uh, every uh, company, we have to maintain the platform. Uh, so uh, the uh, the pattern, the architecture pattern, we, we have to choose. Uh, must you know uh, make uh, uh, permit to 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 give this uh, quality of service. So we have deployed uh, how you know platform in a, in a pass OpenShift. So so it, we are we are full Kubernetes. Uh, even it's not so you know uh, APK solution, but we have de deployed on the Kubernetes environment in two data centers. This is important uh, to, to address your, the, the quality of service, the level of quality of service. Uh, if we if we need to, to make change, if we need to upgrade the, the platform, the uh, the APIM, uh, we, uh, we, well, we need to switch between different data centers. This is mandatory. And um, uh, you, you can see that uh, you, can, yeah, you can see the, the different channels I talk uh, about. And um, for our user, it's, it's already a platformless approach, actually, because uh, they're using uh, some, uh, some tools uh, on the left. Of the screen, uh, they have a marketplace. Uh, they have, you know, uh, I, call, I call that an integration center. They have some insight uh, from Kibana, and and that's it. I mean, they can, you know, uh, consume, uh, publish their, you know, services uh, only with these tools we provide, and the rest is for the uh, dedicated team, uh, the Appim dedicated team. So for the users, it is quite, you know, a uh, platformless uh, approach, and the dedicated deal with, uh, you know, the uh, technical uh, issues. And uh, obviously, uh, we have an, uh, a team to administrate, administrate, sorry, the, the platform uh, with the WSO2 tools. Um, Okay, we have we have worked a lot on observability uh, to help people, users, you know, to uh, tune their, their APIs and, and to to make sure they they, uh, they run well. So we have uh, engaged a, a big migration a few months ago. We 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 were moving from version 2.6 to version 4. It's quite quite a challenge because uh, we had, uh, you know, uh, many uh, you know, hundred uh, of APIs, many consumers. We cannot affect with uh, with this migration. So, so we have developed some, you know, uh, some tips to uh, to make sure uh, the, the the user was not affected by this, this migration. So here uh, are some examples of uh, services we offer to partners. Uh, as I, I was saying, um, we have a lot of internal APIs, but what is in development is to open our information system to partners so that, so that they can embed you know, LAPOST services in their own information system. And these are some examples we, uh, we offer to, uh, to uh, our partners. So, uh, address qualification, customer relation management, online payment, track and trace of object and mission, custom tax computing, postage, territory knowledge, uh, postman mission, common and reporting, hybrid letter production, Kafka connector, so, so that. So that we have, you know, a uh, you know, comprehensive, you know, offer now for our partner to 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 offer postal uh, services. So, what are the assets of IP management for digital transformation? So, I will say that uh, obviously, uh, as uh, our platform is centralized. Um, we can offer a really, a really good point of view for our needs, for the, our technical needs, and also for business 
uh, needs. So it's uh, it's a really an asset for observability. Uh, and um, we can also uh, improve you know the different flows uh, because we really see what is uh, you know uh, going uh, in and out uh, the information system and uh, we can work on sustainability. Uh, frugality of uh, exchange and uh, this can help uh, also to to have uh, information system more efficient so we also have improved security because we are on standard uh, we offer a standard patent to uh, you know access uh, the information system and uh, so uh, this is uh, this is the key to uh, you know to open the information system we uh, we we cannot uh, uh, you know, open the information system without you know, the, the right level of security. And uh, obviously, the traffic management help also to protect the information system. So this is a good, uh, really good point of uh, the API man man management feature. Um, okay, so what, what uh, we can observe is that uh, integration has been, you know, uh, Accelerated in internally, so that we can develop more, you know, um, uh, more application for how you consumers. Uh, what was taken, you know, uh, months, takes weeks now to uh, to be deployed in production. So uh, this is really uh, an, an asset of uh, API management. The developers can focus on their own development and don't uh, don't uh, you know mind with flow network opening and uh, security uh, traffic management so they are, they are free to you know, develop their, their um, services one point uh, also is uh, yeah it's, is uh, on governance uh, governance is, is a key also to um, to to deploy a centralized asset like API management, we really need to, at the beginning, work on, on governance uh, so that API are referenced, so, uh, described, documented, and, um, and, and you need also need to, to, uh, to put process, you know, uh, so, so that uh, you, you control what is consumed and published on your system. Okay, so some, so a few words about WC2 partnership. So, uh, so far we have, we have a fine, you know, really a nice journey with, uh, with WC2 because it's a stable, reliable solution. Uh, we have been able to scale, to scale uh, for our needs, you know, with the uh, huge traffic we have now. So we have an annual support contract an efficient support we can we, we, we can say uh, because it take uh, in account our specificities we we sometimes have to address some you know uh, yeah, special mediation to do some uh, you know uh, special uh, treatment so do we should to help us to uh, to address that and it's quite a good thing for us yeah. Um, okay, so we can also say that we can update easily the, the solution. That's a key point also to, uh, to maintain the, the platform while we cannot stop it. So it's quite uh, important for us. And uh, at, uh, yeah, the last point is uh, that the French team is uh, growing and it's a good thing for us as well. Thank you.